Good morning, Craig Durgan, Port Ludlow. Uh, I'd like to second uh, Jim Fritz's comments, and I think that um, we've got to be very careful here because the declining enrollment and revenue for the schools, and it's one of the reasons why I've been talking about kind of economic development so much before you. I really do think uh, that the county can do economic development. I think it was just last week an article in the Port Townsend Leader that the city of Port Townsend is putting together a development district. So a lot of the comments that the county can't do that I think are incorrect. The county can do that. They have mechanisms to be able to do that. And I think that's something that uh, you guys need to look into. I don't see any reason why we have to starve out the county outside of Port Townsend, which seems to be what you guys are promoting. On a different subject, I'd just like to say on the SMP, you've had a lot of public input, public input through the Planning Commission, which is really the public's representative in the process. I understand staff has promoted something quite a bit different than what the Planning Commission has recommended. I think that you really need to go with what the Planning Commission has recommended because that's the public's input and you are supposed to serve the public, not staff. On a little bit different issue, this, this clean water district, I do not understand why you've exempted the two areas with the most impact on the environment, that's Port Townsend and Port Ludlow. Both of those places have sewage treatment plants that discharge their effluent directly into the water. It may be secondary treatment, but that's not the standard nowadays. They're going to tertiary treatment and even higher. And I think that those people <coughs> need to pay the burden of studying this problem. There's a lot more people involved there than there are in the rural areas. And um, it's, it's unfair, and it's, it's also not fair to the environment that you've excluded the potential for that revenue to study this issue. Thank you.